All right, welcome back. This is Kevin McCain with Idaho Art Classes and Kevin McCain Studios. Uh, I'm going to be drawing the the shoes, and we're going to go ahead and have a photograph placed in the video so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look over here and do a little bit of sighting. You know, proportional measuring. If you're not sure what that is, check out the video on proportional measuring. So if I take the height of the shoe, the height of the shoe divides into the length by one. And almost a half. So this here is the height right there. Well, then it's going to go ahead and go into that. I don't use that right hand for much, but sometimes it comes in handy. Uh, it would go into this one. About there. Okay. About one and a half. Right, right, right there. Okay. So, you know, let's go ahead and take a measurement on terms of the width. Uh, this shoe here, shoe standing up and leaning on the other shoe, is about one third the rest of this, which is about right there. So that's, let's say that's one, that's two, that's three. So, if I go ahead and start, I'm going to start marking off some important points for this shoe. So, I've got the shoe that's standing up is thinking about this other this other shoe so I'm trying to mark where this shoe is and this is then going to be somewhere about there um, we also have Shoe, this is in front, the shoe is in back. Take another measurement. So I'm trying to get the how much is the, the shoe is in between here, the space, and dividing this space into that space. So I'm taking another proportional measurement real quick. And this goes into now. This is going to be right there. This goes into there. One, two, three, about a half. So that's about right. All right, so this is my shoe right here. Okay. 
and this shoe sticks out this So we'll do something like this, and we'll take this. So I'm just gonna, I'm just again, you know, I'm measuring out measuring out this shoe as well. So I'm double checking the measurements that I that I originally went with to make sure they're correct. So let's go ahead and say, all right, this is, and this would be, so these are my two shoes. Um, as far as that went. Let's just check one more proportion. Okay, pretty satisfied that we can start off with this. So I'm now going to go ahead and mark off some landmarks on on my shoe. Um, I'm probably going to start by drawing the one that's uh, under this one. As far as that goes. So um, let's go ahead and and uh, try to draw this one. Now sometimes I'll actually take the shoe off of there so I can see it, so I can see what's happening on that shoe behind it. But I'm not going to do that this time. So. We've got shoe coming out, the shoe comes out and up, and the shoe comes down a little bit, like so. And then we've got this. Now this is almost thirds, but it's a little bit further than thirds. So we're going to go one, two, three, that's probably a little bit too much something maybe about there. This shoe is lifting up off the table a little bit. This is where the shoe touches and this is a tennis shoe so it also kind of comes up here a little bit and there's a little bit of a heel support here at the back. So we're going to try to get some of that in there. Uh, this is then going to go and touch here and we've got this again this foot of this shoe. And then we've got this shoe coming up here. And I 
of this shoe coming up over there, and then this shoe comes down there, and that shoe goes over there, and then we've got the base of this shoe, and the base of this shoe is doing this, and it comes up, and it comes over, and down a little bit, isn't that fun, because of course it's a tennis shoe, so it's got all these funky design things going on. We got this going here and down. Now I gotta I gotta be careful here because I haven't marked that's about where the heel is which means this is a little bit higher and so yeah there we go that looks a little better. So so I, I'm making these observations as I'm drawing. I'm not afraid to go to tell myself if I miss something. Don't be afraid to say nope I didn't get it right because if it's you know if you talk yourself into it you're not doing yourself any favors, you know, to just go, oh yeah, yeah, it looks right, and then start talking to yourself, oh yeah, I did that right, that looks great, you know, when it doesn't. Uh, you know, if, if it does look great, well, wonderful. But sometimes we're so, we want it to, to work so bad, sometimes we, we start to do that self-convincing stuff. And I, th I think, no, don't, don't, uh, don't confuse that with somehow I'm saying that accentuating the positive is not a good thing, because it is. But not if you're 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 trying to self-talk yourself into liking something that you really don't think is all, you know that you kind of know isn't working. Uh, we don't want that. That doesn't that doesn't help us. Doesn't help our growth. Doesn't help anybody. Um, these are some of these ratty tennis shoes, and and ratty tennis shoes I think are some of the funnest to draw because they've had a life, and, and this is kind of showing some of the life that it had, and uh, showing some of the wear of the owner, and and so. Some people talk about shoes as being, you know, quite a telling portrait of the person that that wore them. And anyone who's seen the uh, the painting of Van Gogh painting his shoes when he was in the asylum, he has a very expressive pair of ratty old leathery shoes. Uh, maybe it wasn't in the asylum when he painted those, but anyways, some, some very very cool painting of uh, of shoes, which you know normally you wouldn't say, man, those shoes they really. Those are really amazing, but his are very expressive. And you can just, it's kind of like Durr's hands. You're looking at these shoes going, man, they, they've really seen, Albert Durr was the one that painted the hands that, you, that you've probably seen in prayer. And sometimes you'll see them in gift shops and, and stuff like that. But they have something that was painted over 400 years ago. And people still get inspired by this guy's drawing. Uh, the story goes it was his friend's hands. Uh, I can't remember if his friend had, had helped him out in the beginning of his career and, and bought paintings from him or, or helped him in some way like that or gave him work. I'm not sure but as a younger man this person had helped and he had worked his hands to the bone and and so Dor as a tribute to him drew his hands and this was now Dor was a well-known artist and that man's hands have been you know, well remembered through the years because of the uh, amazing job that Albrecht Dorr did in that drawing of this beloved friend's hands that had sacrificed so much in his daily work, the daily toil if you will. It's uh, quite extraordinary if you've ever seen the uh, image. A lot of times people have seen like reproduction of reproduction of reproduction and so it doesn't have quite the power but if you see the you know sort of reproductions that haven't been over done over and over and over again like a bad photocopy it was pretty extraordinary uh, drawing that he did and that's why it continues to inspire people that have seen it. It's it's quite quite amazing. Albert Dorr was quite a, uh, a very interesting character he was in the Northern Renaissance as opposed to the Italian Renaissance. And uh, he was a one-man show and they tell stories of how he came to, to Rome and Italy and he did everything because again he was pretty much a one-man show. He might have had a you know maybe a, an apprentice or something, a lone apprentice to help him out but he came to Italy where they had literally these big production production studios filled with the artist acolytes and things like that industriously you know engaged in some project that they were doing for you know the Vatican or or something like that and and uh, the story goes that he liked 
this one drawing this young man was doing and so whoever I can't remember who it was that was supposed to have been giving him the tour but it was somebody uh, of some renown and so the the master artist told the acolyte to hand him the, the, the drawing and he did and uh, the master signed his name to it and uh, story goes the door was kind of a little taken back because you know in Rome it was considered you know since he worked for the master that and trained by the master that was essentially the master's work he was doing he was just a photocopier and you know and, and Doris say he, he did everything so everything was considered its own you know the the property of the owner kind of an interesting little story but so I want to continue uh, fleshing out these these uh, these ratty old tennis shoes and again you'll see in the picture they they're quite they're, uh, I'm not I'm not exaggerating when I call these things ratty to be sure uh, but they're so interesting to draw that's why I don't get rid of them I don't wear them anymore you can't wear the things they're just so so floppy and full of holes and torn at the seams and all that good stuff but man those those shoes look like they could tell a story like yeah if you could if you could hear the stories this shoe would tell I bet it'd have all kinds yeah it probably would I don't know if they even would be good or fascinating but it probably could have some stories to tell um, so again we're gonna start to deal with the where the shoelaces are, are, are originating from and so forth uh, we're even going to at some point go go through and, and put the strings in to this uh, this kind of bends over and comes forward a little bit and then this kind of presses out and then it comes back in now I don't think I think there's something else going on as I recall these you can hardly see it from the laces, but as I, if I recall right, these sort of have these you know little ridges in them. They're not just flat, I don't believe. So, and again, if you're not sure, grab grab the shoe and take a closer look. Don't ever be afraid of of, of looking at something. Don't be afraid of studying it. There's nothing nothing wrong with that. It's going to always help you. Why wouldn't you do something that's going to it's going to help your drawing. Now, usually I would get an eraser in here. The reason I keep using my finger is so I can soften certain areas. But normally I do that with a an eraser. I'm just trying not to, you know, waste your time with me jumping back and forth with an eraser here, an eraser there, here, eraser there, eraser everywhere and an eraser or whatever uh, we don't want that so that's what that's about let's see okay um so we could also go ahead and say hey where how many of these you know, uh, of the holes do we have here? So we could go ahead and try to, you know, put in the correct holes for the shoestrings. And I believe we have one, two, three, and I think these are actual loops. So we have these coming up as loops. And then I'll take that back off and so then this one's also coming forward and we've got a little bit of the come over here and try to think of this loop over here and then this over here again another little loop and then we have a have a hole in the shoe over here I think this needs to move back a little bit I think um, this is then going to be a 
that loop right there. All right. And we're going to keep on going on this thing. As far as that goes. So I'm gonna, I've roughed in that shoe. Before I really get into the laces, I want to make sure, and I've also been, I'm going to soften this. Usually, again, I do this with an eraser. Uh, I don't want to get rid of everything, but we just want to soften this up a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to draw a little bit on this shoe over here. And so, first thing I'm going to do with this shoe Draw a little bit of a center line. I've got the top. So, trying to mark the top of this. Okay, so this is going to be where the, the tongue of the shoe comes out. So I'm just trying to get some of the, the different measurements um, as I come down to the widest part of this. So Maybe that's the widest part right there. This is the middle of this thing. to go ahead and draw this so I'm just I'm I'm kind of I'm visually sort of dropping vertical lines to see where this is to that and that to this and the, so I'm trying to, to to figure out some places where I can see in the widest part of this shoe. Something about like that. Uh, the shoe is also over here. Um, this also comes back out here a little bit. Almost in line with this. This comes out here again. We then have 
this coming forward and down onto this which is where we have the laces okay right into there Okay. All right. All right, so this is my shoe coming forward and in perspective. Got lost over here those last couple of minutes. I've been sort of really focusing in on this, trying to do my best to get some of this to So this right here is in shadow. All right. So this then she has the tongue of the shoe comes there in front like so and then we've got that this comes down and here and then this comes down and then here and then we've got this little I mean, this we got this little detail here on this. So we've got this little detail here on this shoe, like.
conexão. This is going to be where our shoe strings are coming from. We then have some of this. This is then the leather that is going around, you know, is it's the trim around what to strengthen where the shoe strings are coming out so those don't tear out of the shoe. This is going to round up a little bit. This is then going to come over here and then around through there like so. This then we have this coming here, coming up onto the shoe. It's sort of what's happening here on that side. There's a little logo, whatever these shoes are. I can't remember who, what shoes these are. Uh, nothing, nothing impressive. Nothing to write home about for sure. Um, but we then go have. Let's see, this starts to come here and down. We can see that little bit of the thickness of this guy. It then goes around the corner. This is the, whoops, that's supposed to be the thickness. Right there is what that's supposed to represent. This then even has a little sewn sort of thing here on this sewn like that. This then comes over here. Um, yeah, this comes up over out of there, up over out of there. I know this may not look like a shoe just yet. Sometimes you'll be drawing this and you're like, I don't know about this. And, and you know, I don't, I don't know. Is this really going to look like a it look like a tennis shoe when I get done with it. Um, again, this is the foreshortening on this can really play tricks with our mind as our, our brain's trying to figure out. Plus, we usually have both eyes open, so having both eyes open is going to again give us two different views. So that doesn't help. So. If you're drawing these shoes, go ahead and do yourself a favor and close one eye. It'll really help um, to figure out what it is that, that you're looking at. Okay. Um, as we start to get some of these pieces on here, this uh, tennis shoe is starting to take shape, which is what we want. It's for this to begin to take shape as we're drawing this thing. Like so. Um, of course we've got but this actually kind of flares out. As this comes down, this is a, the start part going into the leather. So there's a leather piece that surrounds this softer sort of material coming out of there. And um, I don't know if it's Probably symmetrical, but the way it's all bent out, tweaked out, it certainly doesn't look like it is. As far as that goes, um, this then has some little, you know, little things in there, little details we might call them. Um, this thing comes out here out so this is going to be a little thicker as this is tucking in. Um, we then have the, the toe piece. Now this is supposed to also have the the um, a little bit of the tread or the you know so this is going to show a little bit of that tread and then this comes out in front of the tread so the tread disappears. Like so. 
And again, we're starting to get something that's looking like these tennis shoes. And so we're going to go ahead and bring this out here. Is going to come up. Like so. This thing comes over here, and then this comes, you know, it kind of disappears. This comes out and in front of it. Uh, this is where you usually see some of, some of the thicknesses of the leather really helps to give us some overlap and some depth and some dimension as we're dealing with this. I think this needs to come back here a little bit and come into there. Okay, so that's again that piece of leather. See the leather going around the corner here? That thickness right there? That's pretty important as that wraps and that means this is wrapping around and then this is coming forward and then this projects forward. These overlaps with the shoe are going to be very very important to make this shoe feel right. So we, we want to we want to have some of those. We want to have those. Even this where this is a, a bumping, but this bump is in front of that bump. That's that's pretty important. We're going to have some of this stuff again. There's sort of a this sort of comes around and comes in front, and there's this little little hole or whatever. This is what's, what's wearing right through there. As far as that goes. Uh, you know, there's there's more wear stuff through here. Uh, this thing, there's, you know, we have this right here. And we also have this. Let me get my hand out of the way so I can make sure this is kind of symmetrical. Like so. Not quite symmetrical, is it? This comes over here. Now, there's also some, some bumps in the leather. Like this leather here isn't is bad but this starts to have there's a little bump here that can goes down and this bumps over here and that goes down and you know so there's a little bit of and so what we're going to get there is we're going to get some of these you know these uh these creases is what these are the where the where the you know where your your foot would bend create you know as this would you know playing basketball or what have you you're going to have these light little crease is happening uh, and there's also a light little crease through here kind of starts over here and comes up it starts over here so it's a little dark over there but we've got some of those little creases happening we still have the little blingy stuff going on over it and the little you know, little de decoration is probably the better term for this but you know um, gotta have some of that now this kind of dips down. This might distort a little bit, but we don't see the thickness on this one because that's facing away from us. Uh, and this is really quite thin, but I might see a little bit of an edge right here where some of these, you know, a couple places where this goes down, where that goes down. Might see just a little bit of the side of that leather. This piece then comes over here, and then this one comes around it. So I want to make sure that we've got that this is and then this also comes around here and again we're going to see a little bit of a little bit of, of, of a ridge that's the thickness on this guy uh, that, that then disappears and again over here this always as it turns we're going to see some of that on this guy and then again it turns away from so there's a part where we see just a little bit uh, as this turns out and over from where it's been sewn a little bit. So you'll see an edge and then it disappears. And again, these things become really, really important for these tennis shoes. They'll start to give the, the tennis shoe the character of, of a tennis shoe. You're like, yeah, I, I, I've seen that. You know, and so again, now we've got this tennis shoe that looks like it's, it's in perspective to us, which is what we want. All right. So then we're going to say, all right, well, let's go ahead and put the laces. Now, again, we have 
we have right through here we've got these two little loops so put our little loops on there and then there's three other ones besides that so we can come over here put these loops on right now come over here so we work right to left it's, it helps you with the symmetry part of this of this shoe and so we're going to put those lo those loops on on either side mm -hmm. and then we're going to go ahead and go let's see and there's three more left so we're going to have maybe we'll start here there's going to be one here and these are going to be in perspective so they're probably going to be well, they're going to have to be some sort of elliptical sort of thing okay so we're going to have this here this there and this here we're probably going to have to move this up a bit. So this would come here and in there. This would then come up a little bit and make room for that. So we're going to move our move our little our little guys, make room. So, you know, I didn't run out of too much room. But, you know, I, I want to be aware of the fact that, or don't be afraid that you might have to scoot something around. No big deal. Um, if I wait to the very end, I've run out of room, well then that's a big deal. Um, we don't want that. Um, and then again, there's going to be one up here that's really, really tight because it's you know right on the side. This one I can't even see on this side. Can't see it on that, wouldn't see it on that side either. Um, and then we're just going to put the laces on. So this lace is through here uh, is there's one back here and then it comes up through here and then it comes in front so we've got this lace that, that's going to be laying down here okay so that's coming forward then there's the one in back which is this coming back and through there um, and so we see a little bit of, of that and it comes out here It comes forward a little bit before it goes back. So this is this edge. This is the edge where it's coming forward and then tucking back behind there. So this is going back behind there. And then this is going back as this one comes forward. Um, and that means if that's doing that, well, that's got to be coming from this lace. And now this one comes out of here. This is coming up and down and this is going over into this one okay so we can st again start to put these laces on here um, and and lace the shoes put lace the shoes that thing goes there this one's coming out here wait where's that where's, where's that one coming from You gotta put too many holes in this. I'm recounting the holes. I'm thinking, man, I think I got too many in here. But anyways, this is the one that's coming around behind, and it's going. Maybe we'll put the spaces between the strings, so we can clarify what's string and what's not. This is space between the strings. Uh, and a little bit of the as this comes around, this here and comes down. You can space between the strings. Right, right about there. So again, we can just keep putting the, the, the shoes on. Again, I'm going to ignore that, that third hole for these guys because I think, yeah, I, I, I had one too many. So then this is going to come through here, and this one's going to come around. And there's actually a little a little tongue that this goes through that's right right here, but it gets covered by the other laces. So that's going up over there and uh, you know and then that's going from here through this little piece here and then it's coming in, in here so this is this comes in here and then it, it comes out so this goes out and, and you know it's going to be going sort of to this one a little bit as that goes over there and then this is coming out and coming down coming in there 
whereas this one is coming up on top and it goes into there, comes out here, and then this one goes over here. So again, we're going to start to thread we start to thread the laces as, as we start to do this. And so, and then this one coming here, and it comes up, and it comes around, and it hits somewhere like through here. Okay, and then you can't hardly see this one going back behind, it's getting covered. But um, this isn't going to be as dark, but this is the space between, again, those laces. This is the space between this lace and this lace and that lace. And we can just continue to, this lace is going to come around here. This is going through this, this one. So that one's going through there. This one has come up, back, and through, and this is going through this one here. Okay. And then this is going to go, all right. Well, this comes down as this one comes up and over. So. This one's going to be coming over, so we need to. I need to start drawing through. Like there's so many that are over crossing, we got to be careful because we're going to lose ourselves in all these laces. But so the first time we do this, it's kind of a. It's it's it seems like it's some sort of trick or something, but it's not. This one then goes over here, comes through, and this this one actually goes up, and it threads. This one comes out here and it's bending like so. So that's that lace right there. And this lace is actually coming through here and it's not even threaded up through that last one, it's just hanging down through here. And it's getting kind of opens up here. A little bit and then it kind of turns back and in on itself and this is then going going doing this okay so there's our and again this is um, this is uh, this is the this is the darker cloth but a little you know, some of it's in light and then this behind it there's a little bit of a highlight along here and then this goes into deep shadow back here this is really quite dark. And even this up here again isn't isn't white. It's actually this dark navy blue sort of material. But there's our first shoe. And you know this one's got enough information that again we could come in here and start to put on the uh, the uh, you know make this a little more clear. Start to put on laces that are coming back and then down. So actually this is coming back and down over through there, coming through here, and then this one's kind of, these are almost laying down on top of one another, as this one is coming down here and goes onto the table. Something like about like that. And then this one, again, it's, it's come, this is how this one came. This one's going through as well, so it's coming from here and down. And then this one is going; it comes up and then down. So it's it's disappearing as it comes up and then down. And there's another one that comes up and through here. So again, we we have to try to learn not to get lost in all these laces. And sometimes it's it's quite the it's it's pretty hard. Uh, no 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 two ifs about it. You know, because it's it, again it's 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 a tough gig. Uh, so let's see. This comes down through here comes up through there, then this one goes up and over ish. And sort of the, the funnest part of this is how expressive the laces can get. Uh, there's one that's come from up from here and around through there. So this you know, we've got a lace that's kind of coming through here and back and in on itself. And then this is the lace here and this is going back down through there and then this is the lace that's coming over. And so that lace comes out through here and this lace is going back and you know into the into the melee into the fray if you will um, and we're going to have some of these spaces between the laces uh, right through here this would then come down uh, because this is coming up and through there so this would be this lace coming up 
and that lace kind of folds over as it's coming down and through. Again, that, this this starts to be sort of like it starts to look like spaghetti or something, but it's it's the most expressive part, the chaos, if you will, in, in this uh, in our drawing, which is really quite fun. This is what what's so fun about drawing a shoe. Sometimes when people say, "Oh, we draw shoes," they're like, "Oh yeah, whatever." Uh, but you know, sh shoes can say quite a bit, not just about wh who they are and who they belong to, but you know, w you know the life they've had, so to speak. These would be the little these little things uh, standing up there, and again, we've got you know one of these, you know, this is coming in through there, and then this is coming out through there, and you know, so again, this is is quite a quite a mess, if you will. Uh, and not in a bad way there. You can see what a beautiful mess it is. Um, there is, just, I just really, there's something really fun about shoes. What, and it doesn't matter what kind of shoes. Tennis shoes, boots, you know, uh, elegant footwear, that sort of stuff. They all have something to say and, and uh, they can be just really so much fun to draw. And they're challenging, you know. They, 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 we are dealing with perspective. We are we are dealing with some challenging uh, drawing concepts, and uh, so you know, there's there's never a boring moment when you're when you're dealing with something that on the you know on the surface may not seem like it's all that exciting, and yet when we start to draw them, it's one of the hardest things to draw on the when you're when you're drawing people and drawing you know uh, individuals or hands and feet. They're every bit as much, if not more, because they're they're ignored uh, in some ways because of how tough they are. And what do shoes do? They cover the feet. But if we start with again, look for those wedge shapes. We're, we're going to have a lot easier time drawing this 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 tennis shoe that this foot's going to sit inside. So I think I've got enough here for you guys to kind of get the idea uh, of how this is going. This would then come up onto here. Um, this actually turns back and in on itself a little bit and we see a little bit of this leather and then it turns back in and the leather disappears that thickness line and then it starts to bend out a little bit and start you start to see it again so again you start to get these wonderful uh, lost and found lines people will call them as we start to see you know different parts as it turns this this I lose the thickness and then as it wraps under here you start to catch a little bit more you start to catch the thickness again so again, it's it's really quite quite uh, interesting the way these these uh, shoes will uh, switch and turn and you know I don't think it's it's too much to say undulate for people that, that like their vocabulary but they really they're they're alive because why because they fit over something that is alive which is us and we spend a lot of time on our feet in our in, in our life so you know why what we what we choose to wear is you know does say a, a lot about the person who's, who's wearing the shoes. Um, this comes down a little bit more uh, as far as that goes. And again, I think you get an idea. We're getting pretty close here to the end where I just want you guys to grab a pair of shoes and deal with foreshortening. Try to set, you know, you can set up your own shoes. You can draw these shoes, you know, whatever, whichever you prefer. Doesn't matter. We just try to try to draw. Do it your, give it your best shot. Uh, try to do it. Uh, it, it. You know this, and, and it's something all, everyone has in the closet. That's even what's even funner. Oh, I don't want to draw these shoes. Well, then grab, you know, grab your shoes. You know, uh, you know your shoes, or you know, draw those shoes that you saw in the window that you wanted. Whatever. Um, but this is again so. You know, these are our tennis shoes. Go ahead and give this a shot. Um, I want you to try to do a contour drawing of some tennis shoes or some sort of shoes. And um, yeah, for those who are taking the class, send me your drawings. All right, y'all take care. Have a good one. Be more creative. Bye-bye.